Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio, your home for organic, artisanal, fresh Bible study. It's made with loving care every day just for you. And today we're looking at verses 11 through 14, Psalm 69. Next week we'll take up the second half of Psalm 69 and look at those verses. But this week we're working our way through the first part. Yesterday we looked at the Messianic section in this first first part of the psalm. And again, just a reminder, all of my divisions are, they're not necessarily divisions that are in the psalm itself. I try to I try to find divisions in the psalm so that the sections that we study each day fall naturally together. However, because I constrain myself by a five-day-a-week format, then everything has to fit into fives. <laughs> so it doesn't always divide up naturally. I try to, but not always. We're looking at 11 through 14. Let me read those for you. I made sackcloth also my garment, and I became a proverb to them. They that sit in the gate speak against me, and I was a song I was the song of the drunkard. But as for me my prayer is unto thee, O Lord, in an acceptable time. O God, in the multitude of thy mercy, hear me in the truth of thy salvation. Deliver me out of the mire, and let me not sink. Let me be delivered from them that hate me and out of the deep waters. 11 through 14, this verse 11 goes with 10. When I wept and chastened my soul with fasting, that was to my reproach. I made sackcloth also my garment, and I became a proverb to them. You see what he's doing? He's going further and further into holiness, and because of that, these people, whoever they, they are, his enemies, those that hate him without a cause, well, and he's a reproach to them, he's a proverb to them, they tell stories about him, he becomes the song of the drunkard, the authorities who sit in the gate, they speak against him. And then we come to verse 13, and I love verse 13, because in verse 13 you have this theme of God hearing prayer. We have it here in 13, and then we have it again in all the way at the end in verse 34, but we also have it in, let's see, where where was it? Oh, in verse 17 and also in verse 16. So we'll pick those up tomorrow. But this theme of God hearing, notice what he says there in 13. But as for me, my prayer is unto thee, O Lord. So he's not praying to anybody else. He's not seeking their help. He says, I'm praying to you in an acceptable time. O God, in the multitude of thy mercy, hear me in the truth of thy salvation. Well, number one, when is an acceptable time for you to pray? Every time is an acceptable time for you to pray. O God, in the multitude of thy mercies, hear me. There's our first mention of the word hear. He began this psalm by saying, save me, O God. Now we come to verse 13, and he says, hear me. In the multitude of thy mercy, hear me. God only hears you and me because he's merciful. That's the only reason. Why else would he pay any attention to us? It's only because of his mercy. In the truth of thy salvation. And the truth is, his mercy is so grand and so great and so deep and so wide that he wants to save you if you will call on him. Would you like to do that today? Just call on him today. Call on him and ask him to save you. Tell him you you want the gift of eternal life. Tell him you want forgiveness of sin. Tell him, Jesus, you are everything to me. You're wonderful. You are above excellent. You are the great treasure in all the world. Don't call on him today, friend. In the multitude of thy mercy, hear me. That's where he'll hear you, is in the multitude of his mercies. Deliver me out of the mire. Let me not sink. Let me be delivered from them that hate me and out of the deep waters. Well, we go right back to deep water again, don't we? It's how we started this psalm, and it's how we're going to end this first section. He's crying out. He says, I'm in the, I'm in the mire, the deep waters. Hear my crying. And now he cries out for deliverance. Oh, God, out of deep waters. Now, join me tomorrow. We'll look at 15, 16, and 17 on Daily Dose Radio. 
Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.